morning everyone uh, we're getting ready to start our day and uh today's thursday our dumpster gets dumped on thursday and we heard the truck dumping the dumpster and uh, about 10 15 minutes later kim went outside and it wasn't the dumpster being dumped uh, let me change camera yeah this is a bad wreck Thought our dump it's our dumpster being emptied. Thursday is when our dumpster gets emptied. Here comes the helicopter, the life flight. There he is. You guys send prayers out for this fella. We don't know who he is. Um, our new neighbor who just bought this property south of us. He drives a white truck and I thought it was him. So I called to make sure that it wasn't him. Uh, my phone wouldn't work. It wasn't picking up a signal. So I had to reset my phone and kind of everything went into a panic. Medivacking. They used Jaws of Life on him. To, uh, they had to cut the steering wheel away and part of the, the cab and the driver door to get him out. He's in a bad way, y'all. Please send some prayers out for this fella. I don't know who he is. I may know him once they announce his name. As far as right now, I have no idea who he is. But it don't matter. He's one of our brothers. Send a prayer out for him, please. lady in this white car right there uh, she was a witness to it she actually works at the local hospital she was behind him when it happened Got the man out of the truck. Um, he's on a stretcher right now. I'm not gonna film that. Give me just a second. I'm gonna wait till they get him in the helicopter. They got him in the back of the ambulance right now. I'm trying to stabilize him. As soon as they get him stabilized, uh, they'll put him in the helicopter. It looks like an older man in his early 60s, possibly. As soon as they load him up, I'm waiting for him to get him in the helicopter and get the door shut, and then I'll film it. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna put him on the film. It ain't right. It ain't right at all to do that. What happened? You run off the side of the road on this shoulder. And there's a sign over there, a couple of signs. He hit one of the signs and he overcorrected. When he overcorrected, the truck went into a roll. Uh, luckily, the vehicle directly behind him was a nurse from a local hospital here. And she was able to get over there and uh, sit with him until the 
the EMS people arrived and then they relieved her and got to working on him. Bad way to start a Thursday morning, folks. To send prayers out to this man. I don't know who he is, but uh, regardless, we got the same daddy. You know, he's one of us. But we'll, we'll get him out of here in just a minute and I'll uh, show you the chopper. They got the northbound lane completely blocked off right here in front of the house. I believe the guy was by himself. Probably going to his job or just getting off. It looks like a, uh, the, that's a very new truck. 2021 or 2022 model, it's a brand new truck. The bed looks to be all right, the rest of it's crunched. God bless him. All right, guys, they are loading him up in the chopper now. There's his truck. They got him loaded up in the chopper. Um, they put him in the back of the ambulance for a little while. To get him stable enough, they can, he can make the flight. He's messed up. He messed up pretty bad. But I'm gonna wait. I'm trying to get in a position where I'm not showing him on camera. You can see him through the side of the chopper. But they'll be flying him out here in just a minute. Very strange not to see any northbound traffic on this road. Very strange. All right, they just closed the door on him. Uh, and they do have EMS people in the back with him, so he's alive. You guys should keep prayers going for this man and his family. The local hospital, um, it's about a half hour drive from here south, around 30 miles. Good day. God bless you all and we'll be seeing you very soon.